This is 8020 Programming, your place to master the art of programming by solving problems and building projects. Hey, uh, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, um, I would like to say that this channel, we, we teach basic coding principles, basic JavaScript, Python principles, using a, um, a problems-based approach um, to solving, to, to working, to learning. Okay, and um, today what we're doing is we're in the Code Wars platform. We'll work a problem in it. Um, this is a string problem, um, but we'll also get into some if else statements and things like that. Um, strings are one of JavaScript's basic data types, and um, really what it is is you take make you can make a string by using a single a set of single quotes or double quotes or back ticks and then you have characters in between those um, so it could be a name or a sentence or something like that anyway we're working in the code wars and so the, the problem I've selected for today is are you playing banjo it's an 8q problem so we'll open it up okay and we're going to solve it in JavaScript okay Okay, and the description says create a function which answers the question, are you playing banjo? If your name starts with the letter capital case, capital R, or lowercase r, you are playing banjo. The function takes a name as its only argument and returns one of the following strings. Name plus plays banjo. Name plus does not play banjo. Names given are always valid strings. Okay, so we'll come up here and we'll hit train. This opens up the platform and gives you a spot, a place to work, and it gives you some sample tests and things like that. Now, what I like to do, I use um, something called a called the prep method, and prep really stands for you know you evaluate the parameters that are coming into your function, you um, think about what you want to return, you know, to the console or you know to the testing suite, whatever. Um, you look at some of the examples. And then you think about some pseudocode. Okay, so first we um, look at these examples. Okay, and so it says that one of the examples it brings in, you know, an argument as is Adam. It says Adam does not play banjo. That's what it will return. And it returns that because Adam starts with a with an A instead of an R. Okay, and um, so what we're going to do, we'll think about the pseudocode and how we, we intend to solve this. Okay, now we know already that the, the string is always going to be valid. That's what it says here. Okay, so that takes care of the parameter. We know we're accepting a string. And then what we want to do, we want to evaluate whether or not the person can't spell today plays banjo. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to use something called a, an if else statement. Now, if we come up here to the uh, documentation, we see that an if else, an if else statement executes a statement if a specified condition is truthy. If the condition is falsy, another statement is. And the optional else clause will be executed. So we come down here and look at the example. You know, they say if a is greater than zero, result equals positive. Else, result equals not positive. Return result. Okay, that's the that's the basic function in this example. Okay, and so they pass in as an argument negative five, and we know negative five is not greater than zero. And so it should return not positive. And down here in the console log, it does. It returns not positive. Okay, so this is an if else statement. Okay, and so what we're going to do, we're going to come into the testing suite and we're going to put an if. Okay, parentheses. Um, okay, then we're going to do name zero. Okay, equals big R. Or name zero equals little r. 
Okay, I'll explain this after we get this rolling here. Okay, and then we will return. Okay, we'll use something called a template string. And we'll do name. Oh, forgot my curly braces. Name plays banjo. And then we'll get that back outside of there. I'll not put that. Okay. Name plays banjo. Okay. All right. And then we'll come down here and we'll do an else. Else return. The other template string name does not play. Banjo. It's both way. Banjo. Okay. Now let's look at this. No, I haven't run. I haven't you know ran, I haven't done done the test or anything yet. But we want to see if I'm gonna walk you through this. Okay. So we have the function declaration. The name of the function. Are you playing banjo? In these parentheses, which are required, you have the parameter name. Okay, now this will be whatever's passed in, you know, and it, we know it's always going to be a string. Then we have the open and curly brace. Okay, now inside and way down here, you'll notice we have a closing that's required. So everything inside the opening and closing curly braces will be our actual function and it has to be like this. This is the formatting, the syntax we use. Okay. Okay, and then we have our if statement. So we have if and all this good stuff here. Now what this is, is name zero, name square brackets and zero. It's, we're doing something called cell slicing. We're string slicing. Strings are indexed like arrays. They start at zero. So when we go name zero, we're looking for the first letter of the name. Okay, and this three equal sign, that's, um, this checks for equality. Okay, and it checks, you know, if the value and the type of whatever is being tested is the same, you know, and then we got the, the, the big R set up as a string because it's what we're looking for is a string. Okay, the capitalized R. And these two things here, they're called pipes. So we have two of them and that means or. So we've got looking name, you know, equals R, big R or name equals little r. Okay, so it's the same thing across the first letter is what we're looking for to compare. Okay, so if these two are either the big R or the small R, it'll return the, the template string, which says name plays banjo. Okay, this is a template string. It's the back tick and the dollar sign or bling, you know, and um, set of braces, curly braces, and then a variable comes in here into the middle between those, and then we have the rest of our string. So let's come down to the test and push it and see what happens. Okay, and it passes. Okay, so we pass all of our tests. Okay, which is good. Let's see if we can get full credit for this one. All right, and we do. Now this is kind of the, um, I guess the way I would, when I was first starting, this is how I would have solved the problem, um, but there's tons of ways to solve it. You can shorten it. Um, so here what we'll do, we'll comment this out. Okay, comment that whole section out, and I'll shorten it and show you another way to solve it, just so you get you, know, you get a feel for it. And you know, the more you do this, the better you'll be able to solve these problems. The more efficient way we will be able to solve them. Okay, first we'll do our return. Okay, we'll do name plus. Um, we'll do name zero. We'll do. I'm gonna make it lowercase. Wait a second, I'm, I'm lost with what I want to do. It happens, you know, you're working in this stuff and, you know, um, your mind kind of goes blank sometimes. You're working through a problem and you think you have it figured out in your head or, you you, you know, you um, <laughs> your brain just goes out on you for a second. Okay, now I'm back. Um, we do, okay, name to lowercase. So this will take the, the first section of the first letter of name and make it lowercase. Okay, and we'll do our same equals R. Okay, you can have two equals, we'll do a quality or three. Three is a stricter type. It'll do type and, and value. Okay, and then we'll do R. Okay, and then we will do if 
Now this is um, our ternary operator. Plays or does not. I gotta fix something real fast. If I, if I don't leave a little bit of a space, when it adds them together, it'll shove to the name and the plays or it does not play, it'll just shove them together. And that's not what we want. Okay, plus, let's see, banjo. Okay, oops, okay. Now, this should work too. We'll give it a test and then we'll talk about it for a second. And it does not. Okay, let's see why. Ah, okay. You see, I did not leave a space. See, because if you look over here, where it failed, it kind of shows you what you failed. And so you kind of look at that and you work back from it. And so if you if you look at it, it, it says expected. And this is what I returned. Adam does not play banjo. It's all together. Where it's supposed to equal Adam does not play banjo. And so what happened is, right here, where I was doing this concatenation, I did not leave a space. Okay, so we're going to return the name, which is passed in, plus concatenate, you know, inside these parentheses, name zero, that's his name, at name index zero, which is that first letter, to lowercase. This is a method that turns that, that name zero to lowercase, equals R, Equality R small R. Okay, this is our ternary operator. So it, you have your condition, and this tests it. If it if it is if it does equal R, returns name plus plays. If not, return the name plus does not play banjo. Okay, so let's come in here and we'll do the test again, and we passed. Okay. So you see, there's, you know, let's see if I can make a full attempt on it before I, okay. Yeah, I passed all 101 tests that they ran it through, that it runs it through. Okay. But as you can see, there's, there's multiple ways to solve these problems. You know, this is JavaScript, so if we come in here, you know, we look at it, we can see, you know, there's a lot of ways and people they spend time and they get creative and you know you can do the same thing you're working through these problems okay so where there's that now what we're going to do we're going to switch over to python now you'll notice you know we're working in python that python kind of in in a lot of ways some ways you know is works a little bit like javascript if you know one if you learn javascript really well it's pretty easy to learn python if you know python it's pretty easy to learn javascript but then it, it kind of works like that for most languages because what you're trying to do is you're trying to learn the basics. You're trying to understand how to implement a function and what it does, how to do an if statement, you know, conditionals, that kind of thing, how to create variables and stuff. Once you learn those basics, you can kind of go from language to language and you can be really effective at it, you know. Um, so it wouldn't take, it won't take you long to pick up a new language. So we select Python. We'll come to train again. Okay, now it's a, the same thing, the same problem, you know, you know, we look at it, we have the classic, the, the required def, you know, that's how you define a function, are you playing banjo, which is the name, and then we have our parameter passed in, or the colon here, which is required, okay, now, okay, as you know, Python is four spaces, or, and this has to be indented, um, so that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, now this Python is kind of this, I will solve it kind of the same way. We'll start with an if statement. Name zero equals R or name zero equals little r. Okay. Return, or we'll do something called an if string. Now this is Kind of like a template, a string template in, in JavaScript a little bit, and you know, it helps format the string. It'll put a variable into the string and gives you a little bit more flexibility when you're writing things that will return a string. Um, plays banjo. Okay, we got that. L it else. I'm going else. With this one else return. Name 
using a comma to make it a, an official string f string. Okay, now if I've done this right, this one should work too. So we'll hit the test. Um, and as you can see, it does pass. Um, now, you know, uh, that's, that's this, that's how I would start this if I was, you know, just completely starting out a beginner and I was learning about strings and splitting strings and, you know, if and else statements and, you know, that's how I would start it out. Um, but here's what I'll do. I will comment this out, you know, you notice everything that has a hash mark beside of it is grayed out. That means that the compiler will not read it. Okay, people do that. You know, you can comment your code out, or you can write comments in your code so you can understand what's going on. Um, it's pretty important. Okay, well, that, um, to what I would do if I'm going to come in, I want to shorten this a little bit. Um, kind of, I'll do it the same kind of way I did with JavaScript. I will return um, the name plus. This is going to be called concatenation. If you're familiar with Excel. You know how to concatenate items in Excel. This is kind of the same in the most programming languages. Um, okay, we're gonna come in here. We'll do plays. I forgot my space. If you don't put the space, it won't do it right. If name zero um, lower, it's a function in Python that makes letters uh, strings lowercase or makes strings lowercase equals r um, else we'll do another string inside does not play okay um and then we'll do another concatenation outside this will be kind of the same thing um banjo all right let's see if this one works but see how much shorter that is you know, you come in and you can look at it and you can read it. I mean, you know, you want to return the name plus, so it's concatenate plays if name, the first letter of name dot lower equals a small r. Okay. Else doesn't do your return a name does not play. And then we'll add the banjo to it with a concatenation. So let's come in here and do the test again. And it does not pass. And did I do the same thing? Yes. If you notice, you know, the, the, the path, the um, spots that I failed is exactly the same spot under JavaScript. You know, Martin does not play, play banjo. It's all together. It's supposed to be separated. And I didn't do that, and it was because I did not put the space there. Okay, and so this one should work. So I'll hit the test, see what we got. All right. Now that one passed, so I passed both of them, you know, the, the beginner friendly and then a the little bit more advanced version of it. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's all we have to do. Um, anyway, you, you know, you work in these probably attempt to make sure I get credit for it. All right. Oh, and I passed this one test 105, but I passed all of them, which is good. All right. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Let's go into and see what we have going on here. There we go. All right. Means you can come in after you do it. Come in and review. Take some time. Read through, you know, and actually read it out loud. Okay. That'll get you, you know, really thinking about how it works. Your brain, you know, when you're reading things out loud, you're taking the time to actually absorb what you're doing. You'll come in here and you'll start reading. And you'll say def. That means define. Okay. We're making a function. Are you playing banjo and so on and so forth? Take the time, read it. The repetition, you come in here every day, you follow along, you work these problems, you get repetition every single day and you'll start learning how to put things together and how to, um, how the, 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 it flows together, how to make, we're making functions. We'll learn how to do all kinds of stuff as we progress. And it's just, you know, you're building the basics. And once you know the basics though, you can do a lot of things, okay? But if you come in here and you struggle, you could leave a comment, you know, and I will talk about it. Um, you know, a good place is you come into the, the documentation for whatever language you're working on and every piece of, every piece of, um, every language, every, every tool really, you know, um, 
whatever, no matter what it is, Python, JavaScript, um, whatever, it has documentation. And this is written out in ways, and usually it has you know examples and stuff for you to follow. So you can come in here and you can look up what you want to look look up. You know, it works for Python as well. Um, but yeah, just spend some time with it. Follow along. Ask questions. Don't be afraid to Google this stuff, you know, or ask questions and you can figure it out and you can learn. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for today. Um, I appreciate you stopping by. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching. Please, if you found this video helpful, like the video, hit that subscribe button, and share this video on social media. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let's master the art of programming together.